Let me ask you right now about something you're involved in right now, which is the Giant Magellan Telescope. Uh, you're leading the effort to get people to fund the Giant Magellan Telescope. Why do we need the Giant Magellan Telescope since we have the, the, the Webb Telescope? It seems to be sending back pretty nice pictures. How much better is the um, Giant Magellan going to be? Four times better. Four times better. <laughs> Four times better resolution, which means the pictures will be sharper. But the science, the way it will work, the web, as you've seen those pictures, very sharp. But they are identifying parts of, of galaxies and space, almost back to the beginning of the universe, that people haven't seen. They can't focus, it cannot focus, however, more sharply as we would like to be able to identify objects. So the web will, will identify a portion of space. The GMT, Giant Magellan Telescope, can in effect zoom in on that space, uh, have finer resolution, look at it more clearly. And in addition to that, we'll have a, a set of instruments which can collect that light, analyze it, and see, for example, does it contain signs of oxygen or water? So they'll be complementary. All right, but how much does it cost before we get the Giant Magellan Telescope? We're estimating now about a little over $2 billion. $2 billion, and where is that money coming from? It, about half is coming from private sources. The University of Chicago being one of the 11 partners will put up about half, and the federal government is now, uh, we're negotiate, negotiating with the National Science Foundation to come up with the other half. You know, I've often thought the way you could raise money for the giant Magellan telescope is to take away the name Magellan because he didn't put up any money for it, and let somebody very wealthy, Elon Musk or Bill Gates or somebody, say, we'll name it after them and put up a billion dollars. You ever thought of that? We think of that every day. I do. <laughs> yes. You have a billionaire that you like well, to I, I to? I think you need a multi-billionaire, but there might be some out there. If you name it after them, it's a big uh, big naming opportunity. But they... Actually, I'm laughing, but we do. We have naming opportunities all the way from a mirror, uh, an instrument that will look for exoplanets, uh, for $20 million, uh, $10 million, the mirrors can be named. We actually have one mirror named, uh, Mitchell, a generous donor for, to the University of Arizona, $20 million. Uh, the telescope dome itself uh, is $100 million. And you can name the whole, we can negotiate the right, price okay. for the whole telescope. What are they going to name me after anything, the Walter Massey, anything? Or anything <laughs> named me after you? I think they have some porta potty potties down there. <laughs> The life of people on Earth is going to be better if that is funded because of what? We're going to discover that there's life somewhere else in the universe, and how is that going to make our life better? I don't think it's going to make your life better in the sense of, of delivering material comfort, material uh, advantages. I think it's going to make human life more interesting and probably inspire people to think about their life differently. Uh, the artist Jeff Koons, who's a friend of mine, uh, says that when he looks at those images from the James Webb telescope or the others that show you almost the beginning of the universe, you see these galaxies, it just makes you realize how special it is to be living in these times when you can discover these things and how special it is to be a human being. I mean, how improbable it is that there's something like us that has been generated over all these years, and now we still exist. 